Hello there. Today we will talk about the much awaited Xenon wallet called Sirius. I will show you how to download the wallet, set up a VPS account, and spawn a pillar. Please note that this is the public test net that was launched on the 21st of March 2021. So do not send your Xenon coins to this wallet. The launch video till date gives me goosebumps. Let's watch it, for those who haven't yet. At the time of recording this, it has been a month now since the public testnet was launched, and we are already in the second stage. That is Pillars and Sentinels. The Guardians of the Network. Please note, the public testnet is incentivized, I strongly encourage everyone to participate in it. Let's begin. Go to your favorite browser, type in https colon slash slash testnet.cnn.space or simply search for testnet.cnn.space. All the links will be in the description of the video. Once in, click on Downloads. Choose your preferred operating system. For now, only Windows and Mac is available. The wallet for Linux is coming soon. For this tutorial, we will select Windows. Please note, Sirius for Windows requires Microsoft Visual C++ to be installed you will find the link on the same page. Once downloaded, extract the zip files. Once extracted you will see the Sisrius wallet file. Just double click to run it. Windows security might give you an alert for the file that it may be harmful, go ahead and choose to run it. You will get the options to create a new wallet or import wallet. Choose, create wallet. Then it will ask you to write down your 24 seed words. These seed words are the keys to your wallet, in case your computer crashes, or you want to import the wallet to a new computer. Ensure you keep these very safe, not on a computer or anywhere which can be digitally accessed. This is how your wallet will look like. Once again please be reminded, this is the testnet. Do not send or ask someone to send Xenon coins to this wallet. Xenon is giving 1,000 test ZNNs and 10,000 test QSRs every day to each individual request. To receive the test coins, join the Xenon official Telegram channel if you haven't already. Send your wallet receiving address to the faucet. You can generate a receiving address by simply clicking the Receive tab on the wallet. Awesome isn't it? Encourage everyone to explore the wallet and its features. You can generate plasma, send or receive test coins. We will be moving on to spawn a pillar, which may get a little technical. But I will guide you step by step on how to successfully launch a pillar with your test coins. You can also stake them or spawn a sentinel, but as of now, only pillars are generating momentum. Only 24 pillars have been registered at the time of this recording and there's room for a lot more. So why not test it, you never know what kind of incentivization is planned by Xenon. You will need a VPS, Virtual Private Server Account. 15,000 ZNNs and 400,000 QSRs. The QSR requirements keep on increasing as days pass by. So get your friends to pool in if you don't have that amount. Let's begin. First let's sign up to a VPS, I personally use UpCloud. It is reasonably priced and has a 99.9% .9 uptime. 
fill in the required details for signing up. In the promo code tab, type ALU25, this will give you free $25 for the free trial. The free trial is for 72 hours, I suggest manually top up a $10 payment. That's if you plan to run the server for more than 72 hours. After the top up, the account balance should be $35. And then click on deploy server. Once deployed, choose your server, I chose Singapore for this tutorial. As their 24-7 free customer service and technical support is something I am very happy with. Next, choose your package we will choose the $80 package which gives you 6 cores processor and 16 GB RAM. Next choose the operating system. We will choose Ubuntu 20.4 LTS. Scroll down to the bottom, fill in the description if you want to, it is not mandatory. And then click deploy. Once deployed, you will get an email with your username and password. You can also see them in the notifications. Ok, next open the PowerShell app. It may be very new to you, but believe it or not, I had never used it until 2 weeks ago. Once you get the hang of it, it is very easy and interesting. When my wife saw me using it, she told me that I look like an IT geek. Anyhow, let's move on. Please note, every space, every caps matter. So copy and paste it as is. There will be a list of all the commands in the description of the YouTube video. Type ssh, space, root, or the username provided by the VPS provider. Followed by at the rate sign, followed by the IP address, which will be on the home page of Upcloud. Press enter. It will ask you for your password. Enter the password that was emailed to you by Upcloud. Or check notification on the Upcloud home page. The first thing we will do is change your password, for security reasons. Once logged in into the server, type in PASSWD, it will prompt you to key in the new password. Next, we will update, upgrade and install the NTP which is the Network Time Protocol Service. It is very straightforward. Type in apt update, with space in between. It will run and install the updates for Ubuntu. Followed by apt upgrade and then type or paste apt get install ntp. It will install the ntp service. Restart the server once it is done. You can do that from the home page of upcloud. Let's move on. Log in again with ssh user id and password. Copy and paste the following. All the links to paste will be in the description below. You can also type it, just ensure you observe the space and caps lock. The next few steps are very important. Follow the commands. Press enter after every command. 1. apt install zip. 2. wgethttps colon slash slash testnet dot znn dot space slash download slash znn hyphen testnet hyphen bundle hyphen linux hyphen m64 dot zip. 3. unzip znn hyphen testnet hyphen, bundle hyphen, linux hyphen, m64.zip. 4. chmod, plus x, znnd. 5. chmod, plus x, znn hyphen, cli. 6. chmod, plus x, znn hyphen, deployer. 7. ls space, hyphen la. Once you key in ls hyphen, la. You should see znnd, znn cli, and znn deployer in green. Next paste or key in dot, znn hyphen cli, enable our PC. And then, dot, znn hyphen, deployer. You will get a list of options. Choose number 4, which is, configure unregistered pillar. Click enter. This will generate a public address and password. Copy this address. Now go back to Sirius Wallet, select Spawn Pillar, deposit the required QSR and ZNNs. Name your pillar. Paste the pillar reward address, your Sirius Wallet address, public producer address, the one that was generated on the server, 
and click register. Now go back to the server, PowerShell, paste the below. Dot, ZNN hyphen, deployer. Key in number 6, which is, check node status. It should confirm you have a pillar registered, and the wallet address will show. Next, paste or type, dot, ZNN hyphen, CLI wallet dot create from mnemonic. Your serious mnemonic password goes in between these quotations and then your serious password. The serious mnemonic password is the set of 24 seed words generated during the setup of the serious wallet. Followed with your wallet password. Use the apostrophe and observer the space between the seed words. Alright, we are almost done. Next paste or type, dot, ZNN hyphen deployer. Choose option number 3, configure registered pillar. Then you will get three options, two having wallet addresses, and the last option is import wallet. Choose the option which has your serious wallet address, by typing either 1, or 2. Press enter. Then you will get a drop down with 10 options, look for the public address that was generated. If you don't see it, you will see your wallet address. Choose your wallet address then. Should work fine. It worked for me. Last step paste or type dot. ZNN hyphen CLS start ZNND. In a couple of minutes, you should be generating rewards. To check if it's generating momentum rewards, you can paste or type in dot, ZNN hyphen CLI pillar dot list. You can see on the screen the pillar is successfully registered and generating rewards. You can also go the explorer and check, at explorer.znn.space hyphen pillars. If in 5 to 10 minutes, rewards are not generating. Type in or paste, dot slash ZNN hyphen CLI resync and check again. Please note Xenon has not officially given a guide on how to deploy a pillar yet. However, this has worked for me. Apu's initial guide was very helpful, Dumeril helped me a lot in understanding and using the commands. He is a great tutor, very helpful, and patient. Thanks to the community members who chipped in, by sending me the adequate funds required for this tutorial video. Lastly, please try this at your own risk. I do not hold any responsibility if it's unsuccessful or your funds are lost. All links are available in the description along with the commands. Join the Xenon community and be a part of this test net. If you need any help you can comment on the YouTube video or reach out to me on Telegram. Please subscribe to the channel, like and share with your friends and family.